Hello everyone, welcome back to the Engineering Workshop. I'm Hunter White. In this video, we're going to design and 3D print a dust hose clamp for the Shipoko CNC. This dust hose clamps onto the Z-axis motor, holds a 2.5 inch dust hose, and swivels to allow the CNC to move around the workspace without pinching or binding the hose. Alright, let's see how I built it. The problem I am trying to solve is this dragging dust hose I have suspended from my CNC enclosure. My enclosure design uses bungee cords from fixed points, eye hooks screwed into the top of the enclosure, to suspend the dust hose above the CNC. However, with the dust hose long enough for the CNC to reach the far corner of the enclosure where the bit setter is, it is way too long when the CNC is in the back left corner of the workspace. This causes the dust hose to get in the way of the drag chains and bind against the left Y-axis rail. My solution is to design a bracket that will clamp onto the top of the CNC spindle in order to hold the hose directly over the spindle. I chose the Z-axis motor as my mounting location because it's the highest point on the CNC and it provides an easily clampable surface. I also decided to allow the hose clamping portion of the assembly to rotate, ensuring smooth function of the clamp assembly, preventing any unwanted side effects like spindle deflection or the dust hose getting pinched off, choking the dust collection system. To produce my clamp assembly, I decided to use my 3D printer. The complex geometry of the parts makes additive manufacturing an ideal and easy solution for this. Fusion 360 is awesome in that I can directly export my 3D model to my slicing software. I'm using the Cura Slicer from Ultimaker. I'm printing this part in black PLA using the standard quality settings. However, I do want to point out that I'm using a 50% cubic fill in order to ensure that the parts won't fatigue and break with long-term use, uh, specifically due to flexion. I'm printing on a Creality Ender 6, which is a Core XY machine, allowing for 125 millimeters per second print speed. I'm also using Magigoo, a build plate skirt, and a heated bed to ensure good first layer adhesion. An option to make this part even stronger is to increase your wall thickness count. And once we have all of our settings the way we like them, we can go ahead and slice. And then uh, going down through all the layers, you can see how uh, we're mostly solid on the inside. Um, and this should give a fairly like rigid, durable uh, part um, for use with the CNC. So I'm pretty happy with how this came out. My 3D printing, however, left a little bit to be desired. You can see there's quite a bit of stringing, but I'm going to chalk that up to the fact that it was 38 degrees Fahrenheit inside the shop when I was doing this, and that probably had something to do with it. Nothing a little sanding can't fix, though. So I just sanded all the parts as they came off the uh, 3D printer. Um, they're solid on the inside. It was just surface finish that needed a little help. Um, but again, this is like a tool for the CNC in the shop, so I'm really not worried. Um, this wasn't supposed to be decoration or anything. The parts are plenty strong. To assemble my dust hose clamp assembly, I'm just using some hardware that I found in a toolbox. Uh, the holes that go through the top and base portion are a quarter inch. So anything that's smaller than a quarter inch is going to be fine, and longer than an inch and an eighth. That way like, you have enough room to put a nut on. I'm also using Loctite just to ensure that the vibration from the spindle doesn't eventually work these loose. Uh, as I don't want the dust hose uh, clamp assembly falling apart while I'm trying to, uh, or while I'm using the CNC. Um, but just basic uh, basic hardware you can get from like a Lowe's or Home Depot or uh, you can also get it off Amazon if you really wanted to. Um, assembly goes together really quick. And a quick test of the swivel action and it swivels really well so I think that's really going to work. So to install the base and the whole assembly rather on the Z-axis motor um, you may need to sand if you're since if your 3D printed part comes off a little tight or out of spec, but uh, mine actually slipped right on, as you can see, um, pretty easy. And then I designed this little these tabs in the back so that you could actually tighten this down. And this serves two purposes. One, there's the Z-axis motor wire that's coming directly off the back, as you can see. I needed to create room for that wire um, so that the clamp assembly could fit down over it. Um, but then also this allows the assembly to pinch and be careful that you don't like actually rupture the uh, surface of your 3D printed part. Um, I just got it snug. Um, hand tight is plenty. And putting the dust hose into the dust hose clamp is very straightforward. You just simply push it down in there and the uh, dust hose like the one you see two and a half inches um, slips right down in there and it's flexible. Alright, now to finally test and make sure everything works. 
So what I'm going to be doing is running the CNC uh, using like the jog feature to kind of go around the CNC workspace and ensure that the dust hose doesn't pinch or bind, that it's able to rotate as I intended. Um, and it looks like everything is super smooth and I'm very happy with the way this design came out. Um, it was very easy to install, looks great, kind of blends right into the top of the CNC. Um, definitely something I think that Carbide 3D should consider um, including with their Shipokos because it's just uh, so convenient. If you want to download this 3D model and make your own dust hose clamp for your Shipoko CNC, I've got a link in the description for build plans on my Etsy store. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.